Okay, so learning uh, uh, objective in this chapter, create dimensions, constraints, 2D sketch entity, okay? And edit the 2D sketch. So today's lecture, it's all about 2D sketch, okay? So we have to explain about 2D sketch and all about 2D sketch. What are the tools that we have while working with 2D sketch? If you go to File, New, and as we agree from the template, you can choose either English or metric. Let's say you want to choose metric in order to work with millimeter and create standard part millimeter and create. Okay, so once you are here, you are in 3D environment, you are not in 2D environment. If you want to switch into uh, 2D, you have to go to start 2D sketch and select which work plane you want to choose. As an example, I want this work plane. Now I am in 2D environment. In 2D, I can find line. This one I can find uh, here for as you can see, circle, this is the circle, arc, rectangle, and so on. If you find here, you'll, if you see here, you'll find line where this drop down menu, you can see line, spline, control vertex, spline, interpolation, equation curve, and bridge curve, circle, and tangent circle, and ellipse, and also arc. So you have different choices when it comes to drawing. Okay? So, what's the difference between lines? First, you have line, spline, control vertex, enable you to sketch, freeform care, select multiple points, like this one. Line, control vertex. See, I create spline. But if you notice here, there are vertex, this one. And these vertex are controlling the shape of my spline so enable you there's multiple points select multiple points to create the spline each point that place define the vertex or control the frame see you can use the point to control the shape okay the second one spline interpolation enable you to sketch a free form curve select multiple points to create this uh, the spline the spline is drawn through each point so the difference in this one is the spline while you are doing like this you are using the point to draw the spline so the spline the point are in the spline itself see if I check here this is the point it's in the spline here this is the point it's not in the spline it's controlling the shape of the spline but it's outside the spline when we I can use this when I can use that it's up to you when you are drawing as an example shape and you need the arc to be smooth or to have some curvature, you might think that I need this one to control it or I need this one to control it. Okay, so based on you. As you can see, if you press here, you will find there's line here, this line. This line can control also like this, the shape, not only the point, Okay, so here's the point, and if you press on the point, you will find line. If you press on the line, you'll find vertex for the line, like this one, so you can move them. Here, you don't have this one. You can only control the curvature using the point, which is outside. Equation draw care based on ent uh, entry of equations. So if you have equation like x, y, or anything, you can input these equations, and you can create your spline. Bridge curve, draw smooth curve between two curves. Okay, like this one. Bridge curve, you have one curve and one curve. You can draw smooth curve like this one between two curves. Okay? So, circle drop down list. This is the line. 
let's see i want to delete all of them i select all and press delete on the keyboard now circle you have tangent circle draw circle between three lines the lines could be inside rectangle or could be inside uh, triangle or could be any lines like this line here and this line here and this line here if you click circuit the first one center point you click here and you choose the center and the point okay if you click now on uh, 12 let's say 12 so this is the diameter how you know this is the diameter you can find arrow from here to here if you click again circle and while you are creating the circle select right click and click here on radius that means you can input now radius only not no need to input diameter if you want radius on the drawing so i will say six so this one is six this one is 12. if you notice that the six is equal to 12 look because the radius is half of the diameter so anytime you see diameter you know the radius or you see radius you for sure you know the diameter so like this i can right click click diameter so i will create the dimension in diameter or radius the second one tangent tangent require three lines like this one one two three or one two three of course this is important because you can manipulate you can come here and make trim make trim make trim make trim make trim for inside make trim for inside make trim so you will end up delete you will end up having this shape based on the dimension that you have also you can create inside the triangle like this or inside as i said any three lines list this line this line and this line okay ellipse create an ellipse select first point to define the center select second point to define measure and minor axis like this center first point measure axis second one minor axis this could be major axis if you can flip between minor or major axis so i can do like this i can click here and draw minor and then drag it will be major axis or i can do click and click like this major and click here small it will be minor axis okay uh, also under the drop down list you can find arc tangent arc three point arc center point arc what's the difference between these let's say i have like this one let's say i have uh, this circle for the tangent arc i click on the arc i select tangent arc I want to create an arc that tangent to this line tangent so i click on the line and then i move my cursor at any point whenever you put here 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 whenever you put the end this area will be tangent wherever you put you put it out up or down like this again and i put it here see this one will be tangent okay because you said i want arc tangent tangent there is arc called three point which is free you can click any three point one two and the third point like this like this you can just choose where to put this point one two okay and there is arc center point start from center point like this one i start from this circle i go make imaginary like this dashes and i want my arc to start from this point and go here see i accurately create an arc using this one for rectangle drop down list
this is the rectangle. The first one is two point rectangle, one point here, one point whenever you want. It could be up, it could be down. And you can, after you click one point, you can define the link as an example type 60 and tap on the keyboard to say 30, let's say. So now you define value. If you want, you can create square by selecting one point and 20, tab on the keyboard, 20. So this is 20 by 20. Again, 10, tab, 10. So this is the second one, two point center. In this, in this uh, case, you can create rectangle or square, but using defined center. As an example, I want the center to be this corner. Then I open whatever value I need. As an example, 15, tab 15. So the two points, you start from the point to the point. The center, you start from the center. And later you create the point. OK. Uh, you have three point and three point center. Three points in case you want to create rectangle at angle, like this one. Angle, let's say at this angle, at this angle. If you want to be specific angle, click tab on the keyboard, then tap, type the angle, 30. And then uh, you are at 30. And let's say tab again, you are at 30 degree. What's the length of the rectangle? Let's say 40. OK, 40. And then you can draw your rectangle. You want the height to be like this, like this, like this, whatever you want. Let's say I want the height to be 60. Now you accurately draw rectangle at 30 degree, 40 uh, width, and height is 60. I will repeat it again like this. This is rectangle. I want to draw it at angle, tap on the keyboard. I want to draw it at 15, tap again. I want to type the, the value, let's say 20, enter. And then what's the height? Let's say 50. Uh, there is similar to this one, where you can choose the angle, but you can start your rectangle from the center, like this one. So I choose the center. And then again, I draw the angle. Tab on the keyboard, 25 degree. Tab again, define the width, let's say 30. Enter. Now you can choose the other value. In this case, I define the angle. Let's say 50. Okay, three point. Uh, we can draw a slot also. From here, this is slot. One end, two end, and draw it. Or you can be specific like this. From here, 30, enter. And for the diameter, I want it to be 20. OK? There is also center point. You start from uh, overall or uh, center with angle similar to that one. Tap on the keyboard to define the angle and do whatever you want. Uh, this one on uh, three point on center using center of circle like this. If you have as an example circle like this one, I can start from the center. I can open as an example here, and then I can draw like this. Okay. So in this case, uh, three point arc. It's not from the center. This one from the center. Center. It's called. You click here in the center. You go, and then you create the arc that you need, and it will create it from the center. This one, it's called three points, like this. One point, two point, and here's the third point. And you can create your spline, okay?
one more time one point two point and here you can create your spline the last one polygon you choose how many sides you need as, as an example three sides i need so i will create here let's say i want five sides i will create here pentagon there's inscribe or circumscribe this really has related to circle as an example if you have circle and you create polygon uh, inscribe you will get the polygon inside the circle while circumscribe it will be outside the circle like this one tangent how to draw tangent line you have two circles like this let's say you have one circle here and one circle here you can draw a line right click and point select tangent to this one go here right click point select point select tangent and select this one so now you are accurately drawing line tangent to tangent okay if you go here fillet and chamfer fillet and chamfer are very important and uh, they are they are different and also they have different application let's say i have rectangle here and i have rectangle for other one okay here for the fillet you can find it under the create menu fillet the first one for the fillet you can go here and type the value as an example i want three so click on the first line when before you click on the second line you can see review or preview if this arc you don't like it before you click you can go here and make it one and go there make preview again just pass the cursor over the line you don't need to touch okay you don't like it make it five pass the cursor it's too much you make it two as an example pass the cursor if you like it click and you will create the fillet also later if you want to change the fillet value you can come here and double click and two and make it three okay. however i don't recommend this because if you don't have constraints here you might change the value like this one for this one will be increased but if you start from the beginning create as an example uh, here and you see like this preview and change it to three this will be more accurate okay with regard to chamfer this one chamfer chamfer create uh, like sharp edge at the intersection of the two lines and could be like angle 45 degree angle or 30 degree angle if i click on chamfer i'll find that i have three options the first one called equal distance so i type the value of three I will make three as an example here so this one three from here to here and from here to here if you check the dimension dimension from this point to this point it is three and from this point to this point it is three also okay so three by three there is other option in chamfer which is number two Number two, it tells you that you have two distances, distance one and distance two, and it's not necessary, it has to be the same. Okay, let's say I choose this one one and this one two. I click here and I click here. I find that the distance from here to here is one. Can you see it? One, and the distance here is two. So one and two, one and two. Uh, if you do like this again, as an example, uh, I want to do chamfer here. And I want to do chamfer 
two distances, one and two, like say, one and two, I can flip. I should be able to flip. Ah, I think from here you can flip two and one. Chamfer two and one. Like this one. This one. Okay, the third one, if you click here on chamfer, it's distance and angle. By default, it's 45 degrees. If you click here and you click here, it will give you at, it will give you like this one at 45 degree. But you can also go to chamfer and click between here and here and change the angle, let's say 30. You don't want it 45. Okay, one more time. Chamfer, let's say, okay, you click here, you click here. Okay. Okay. So you can create a chamfer at angle, the angle that you need. See, like this one, 30 degree. Equal distance, two distances, two as an example, distance and angle, the third one. Point snap, tangent, end point, like this one, see? As an example, you are creating line, and you want to create line here to be tangent. As I said, right click, point snap tangent or create line right click point snap center and click this circle so it will be direct to the center of the circle so this is called point snap okay let's say create from here to this line right click point snap midpoint and you click on this line it will automatic create for you the midpoint for the line. You don't need to search for the midpoint. Okay, so this will be very helpful for you. Uh, constructions entity. Uh, constructions is one of the more important tools in the sketching and usually you have to use it because what constructions mean that you can use the lines but these lines will not be taken into account when you create the extrude, will not be calculated. As an example, if someone asks you to create square, and this square is tangent to a circle that has diameter 25, and another square that, has, that is tangent to a circle, diameter 40, and these two circles are concentric, having the same center, and you only want to create the two squares that tangent to this and to this. How to create this task? You will start from circle. You will create the first circle. You will go here. You will open and type 25. Then you go again to the same center. You open like this and type 40. Okay. You remove, let's say I will move this one in order to able to see. Okay. Now I am here. I want to create the square. I will go to the rectangle. I click on the first one. I go here. I can see point snap, tangent, and click the circle. Or I can do it in different way. I can go to polygon and select circumscribe and say four and click the center and choose this one. And again, 
select this one, I choose this one. So now I said, okay, I, I create a rectangle that has or square that has tangent to circle and another square that has tangent to circle. But I told you before, if I create finish and I want to make extrude for the squares here, they only want this square and this square. If I want to make extrude, I will have problem here, see? I will click here, I will find this one, I find this one, I find this one. I, I, I have lots of uh, profiles. The software cannot understand which profile I need. So I will go back, edit sketch, and follow the construction line procedure. How to create, how to transfer the circle into construction. Click on the circle, go to format, and choose this one, construction. Now click on the circle, go to this one, and construction. Now, if you click finish and you want to create extrude, you only going to extrude this area, not the circle, only the area between here. See, because we don't want the circles. Okay, so. Let's sketch and let's again continue. Basic editing tools. This is basic editing tools in modify trim. How trim work? Trim just need two lines that intersecting. It cannot work with line alone. It can, but not beneficial. It will delete the line like this one. As an example, this one. It will. Ah, how how it works? Sometimes when lines are intersecting, like this one, if you create a line from here and it goes straight, it will make intersect. So Trim will understand that there is a relation. So it will cut due to that relation. Okay. So I will go back to Trim and choose this area here. I can Trim. I choose this here. As long as I have intersection, I can do Trim. Okay, let's say I want to trim this here. Okay, any, any, you can choose any lines, just remove the extra. Extend, on the other hand, it connect like this. I want to connect or I want to extend. I want, as an example, this arc to reach here. So I will click on this arc. I want this arc to reach above. I click on this. As long as I choose the extent and click on it, it will be moving to it. Okay. Mirror. Here is the mirror. As an example, I have like this profile. And here I have three points. Here is the mirror. I should have one line here. This is the mirror line. So now I created the mirror. OK? As I told you, this is recorded video. You can find it on my channel, on the YouTube, and on the Blackboard. So you can go back and check any time in order to understand how you can do all these tasks. This is simple to the editing. OK. How to know that you have constraints in your drawing and how to deal with constraints? If, as an example, you have something like this. Let's say I have, as I told you before, I draw circle 25, and I draw circle again 40, and polygon, 
let's say for uh, I will choose circumscribe and polygon again I will choose here done okay what type of relationship I have I will choose this format to be construction I will choose this format to be construction in order to find you have to go down and click on show constraints okay I will give you more simple example let's say I have circle I have circle and I have line here point tangent to this one and point tangent to this one okay if I down I click down on show all constraint or F8 on the keyboard see it will show you what's the relation that you have in your drawing so as an example now I, I don't want this to be tangent but you cannot see if you try to change it you cannot change it even if you remove it like this this one will remain tangent see if you click extend it is tangent okay even if you short like this one it has tangent see if you remove the circle down change the location as an example or change the line like this one the circle will change with it see because they have tangent relationship how to remove this tangent relationship when you click here show constraint go to the tangent itself right click and delete now if you if you click here see this one remain tangent but this one is not tangent again I want to make tangent again I go to constraint I can find here lots of constraint I choose tangent this one tangent I this one is horizontal see horizontal and I can't rotate the line with any angle or vertical it's horizontal I want to remove it F8 on the keyboard if I don't see it or show all constraint then I go here right click and delete and now the line you can make any angle it's not horizontal you want it to be horizontal again go to constraint choose horizontal and click on this line it will be horizontal review degree of freedom this degree of freedom is very important also uh, let's say you have something like this let's say I want to origin here and uh, no, I will create rectangle normal and I will show you degree of freedom first go here down to degree of freedom this one see so you can find this one in red what do you mean by in red that means this line has the ability to go down and up this line this point can go right left up down like this you can change like this or up or down this one can rotate you don't have any uh, you this uh, your sketch is not fixed as long as you click here you, sorry you click here on this one and you, you find the red arrow that means your uh, your constraint is not sketch how to make it fix you have to click here as an example on this axis y and click project and click on this axis y x and y and click project okay now you click rectangle that has reference between this one and this one let's say i want to type okay I will keep it like this I will click rectangle and I will check now see I still have no degree of freedom I have degree of freedom what if I type dimension I say from here to the center 50 from here to here 35 I click again 
What happened? I cannot see anything. I will remove the 35. I will click again. This one, I don't have anything to right and left. See this line? I cannot take this line. See only arrow up and down. You cannot see right and left. I will delete 50. You can see right and left now. Okay? Why you cannot see it if I click? Because now you said I want the dimension to be fixed from here to here. Now you will look at this arrow and this arrow. If I click the dimension, it's removed because now you cannot move the line right and left. It's fixed. Look at this line up and down. If I create another dimension vertical from here, from here to here. What happened? All of them removed. So all the time, it's it's uh, good from you to go check your degree of freedom to make sure that your sketch is uh, fixed in the place. All the necessary constraints, all the necessary dimensions you have. Assisting, assigning constraints. You have a tangent, linear, perpendicular, parallel. It's based on what you need. Let's say you are doing like this shape as an example. I want to create, but while I'm creating, I just lost the control a little bit and I did something like this. My shape has to be like this, by the way, but I created like this. Can I solve it? Yes, you can go to constraint, horizontal, this one, horizontal. Horizontal. Go to vertical. Vertical. I want this line and this line to be at the same level. Go to constraint. Horizontal. This one and this one. See, I want this value and this value to be equal. Go to constraint, equal. This value and this value. See, with constraint, you can do everything related to how you control your drawing. See, if you inc in increase this one, if you increase, if you remove this one, okay. So now this one will remain fixed as I cannot move it up. It will move the other one together. This value is equal to this value. If I put dimension here, let's say 35, I want it to be 20. This one will be also 20. If you click here to apply dimension, the software will tell you, you cannot apply dimension. It will be driven dimension. What do you mean by driven dimension? That means it's being controlled by other one. If you control this one, 15, this will be 15, but you cannot control this one. You cannot, it's, it's unable to be editable. It's not editable, see? So you click on 15, you change it to 10. Okay. So now we understand how to use, and we understand how to use tangent. If I want to use tangent before smooth, I show you how to use the smooth. See, as an example, here circle, here's the line, and here's another line. And my target to draw arc, that's tangent. I didn't choose tangent or anything. I just choose three point, one point here, one point in, and one point here. And I end up having like this while I need to make it tangent tangent like this one what what tangent mean that the line and the arc are smooth the intersection between line you cannot make this as an example this line you cannot make the arc down here like this or this line you cannot make the arc uh, as an example like this sharp it has to be line and the arc is smooth this area here called tangent so if I want to fix this area here, I go to constraint, click on tangent, say this line and this arc, this line and this arc. So now I have a smooth corner. All the time, remember that you can achieve this result by clicking fillet. Fillet all the time give you ta the tangent uh, constraint, all the time. Okay? So for uh, smooth, I told you before, smooth, we use it with spline. Like if you have spline, like this one. And other spline. 
you can create a constraint smooth you can create bridge care let's say you didn't uh, you don't do it bridge let's say create this one this one like this you can go to constraint and make smooth of course you might not happy about the result here but at least this area is smooth from here to here they are smooth okay uh, collinear you remember when we used horizontal between this one and this one you can also use collinear to make the same result like this Constrain collinear this line with this line. Coincident, coincident as an example, you have like this shape, let's say, and here you have horizontal, and you want the circle, you have this circle, and you want the center of the circle to be here. Okay, so you go to how how to move it. You cannot put, put the center like this. Okay, it's not the way we do it in Inventor. You go to constraint, go to coincident, this one, and click on the point and click on the line. If you want on specific area, this green area that indicates the mid of this line, the midpoint. Okay, center to, okay, just one more time. Here, to the mid. It will move. Also, you can create tangent from here to here or from here to here. Okay? You can use trim if you want. Concentric, we use concentric to create circle that in the middle of other circle or arc. I go to concentric. I choose this one and this one. This one and this one. It's immediately moved to the center that I need. So it will create concentric. Concentric means sharing the same center. Eccentric means each circle has its own circle. Equal, I showed you how to make them equal. I will show you again. This line and this line, they will be equal. Horizontal, I vertical, and I showed you how to make them horizontal and vertical. There is another use for horizontal or vertical I didn't show to you in this lecture. Let's say I have rectangle here. And I have circle. 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 And circle. And I have asked to align these circles in the top of each other, be horizontal, vertical and horizontal. I use vertical, I say this circle and this center, vertical, this center and this center, vertical. I go to horizontal, I say this center and this center, horizontal, this one and this one, horizontal. I can go to equal if I want, I go this one and this one and this one and this one, all to be equal okay now what I have I have circles that are equal and align vertical and horizontal all I need to do just to add dimension from here to here 30 and from here to here let's say 30 and do the same for all of them okay so this is uh, uh, fix. If I want to use fix, I can choose this point or line and fix it so it will not move. As an example, I choose and fix. I click on this line. Now this line cannot move. See? This line can move. This line can move. This line you cannot move because I choose here fix. I will make, as an example, fix for circle. So 
See, it becomes fixed. Symmetric, it's very important. Uh, I will show you example, very useful example for symmetric. Here, if you notice that I can move this one to the right and move this one to the left, but I, I cannot be symmetrical. If I remove all these and I create line here, then I choose uh, symmetric this one and this one along this line okay again symmetric now if you move this one they will be moved symmetric around the line you cannot have to the right variation of distance rather than left you all the time having equal distances between right and left because I apply I apply symmetric okay so how to do this you create line and they go to symmetric and choose one line and the other line and then tell the, tell the software, I want to be symmetric around this center. Click here. It will show you the sign here. And now whenever you change this one, it will change equal. Let's say this one, uh, it also took the symmetric also. So now you have symmetrical work. OK. I, I just want to summarize that if you know how to deal with constraints, you will end up having very good uh, results with your sketch. Reference in order to project. Uh, it's also one of the important tools that you need to learn. I will show you an example. I will move this one here like this. And I go to this axis. Did you see this axis? X. I, I choose project. It's not within constraint here, but it will act as constraint and it will take the sign of the constraint. See, this is the axis. I will click on project. It will turn to yellow. I will go to this axis, Y. I will click project. It will turn to yellow. Right click, OK. Now, what will happen? If I move this one and I choose as an example coincidence, No, without choosing. If I click here on the keyboard, show constraint, can you see this one? This one called project. And there is another one here. So what project mean that can create vertical and horizontal. Also, it's not in the constraint, but project work as a constraint. Okay? That means you have, you can also use it as a reference. If I say coincident, I select this point here at, let's say, at the intersection. Okay, let's say I make point center point I moved it now I have project for this one here okay constraint setting you can all the time go to constraint setting uh, in uh, in the tool document but I don't prefer to edit the constraint As I said, I don't. I think it's it's um, 
constraint panel click constraint setting here in constraint panel there is one of these constraints setting this one yes but as I said I display display interference relax I don't I don't recommend you to change anything unless you become familiar with the uh, tools so later you can delete a constraint as I said before when you don't you can if you don't see the constraints like this you can sh show the constraint by press F8 or come here now go to the constraint right click and delete now they are not tangent okay but they are symmetric if you delete the symmetric again see ah, there's another symmetric delete wait I when I click by mistake I delete the circle so you have to make sure that you are in the symmetric and deleted now see it's not symmetric see and not tangent and not symmetric see this one and this one is not tangent this is the relation that the arc ends up facing intersection here with an angle there is it's not smooth this is the tangent look like okay so we know how relax mode relax mode See, you are here. Okay? You are here. You have symmetric. You have perpendicular between this one and this one. You have symmetric. Okay, you have equal. Can you see here? 10 equal to this one. Down, this one called relax mode down or f11 on the keyboard if you click on relax mode and click on this one let's say this line move it it will become 18 and this one remain 10 where is the equal it's it's removed okay what about the symmetric it's also removed see they are not symmetric click again remove it Khalas. It, it, it's removed the constraints for you. It changed the shape. Because this relax, it's used as an example. You want to check your uh, point, check your system like this. I want to check. I remove this one. I change the. Ah, uh, here, see, you are changing. Okay, I don't like it. So I will do as an example undo. So instead of deleting the constraints, no, you just make relax. Addition dimension tools, center dimension, center to center, edge to edge. We understand how to deal with this one. Angular dimension like this one. See center to center, let's say you have a rectangle and you have one circle here. It creates dimension between here and here. If you move your cursor down, right away down, it will transfer to horizontal and vertical okay if you move down but if you see the sign can you see the sign it show me that there is angular dimension see angular if you click now it will give you dimension in angle okay one more time i'll show you i click on dimension i click on the circle and i click on the circle it will show me arrows and line this arrows and lines mean do you want to create dimension between the two centers? If I click yes, I will create dimension between them. If I want to ignore, I want dimension not in angle, I want dimension between horizontal and vertical, I just move down or move right or left or move up. If you come back, it will transfer to angle. You don't need to click anything. Just move the cursor down, the computer will understand that you want to create horizontal dimension between the centers usually usually we don't create angular dimension in this way we create horizontal and vertical okay angular like this one you have line and you have angle if you want to create dimension angular just click on the first one click on the second one and you can type it or either here or here or here 
or here just move the cursor where you want the angle to be which quarter okay as you can see tangent dimension to create tangent dimension select first arc move cursor over the second arc when the tangent display you can create like this one as an example go here can you see if you move the circle you will see this one if you click on this one you will create tangent between this and this one tangent between tangent between arc and arc the end of the arc not the center see if you click again here to here and click you will find center to center but if you click from the arc and go a little bit move 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 the cursor until you find this sign now you can create the tangent revolve sketch dimension this is only important if you want to create a revolve feature as an example i have this feature i want to create like vase and i my vases look like this one and it's open from the middle and let's say I want to extend this one down and uh, yes I want to extend this one down I want to trim I want to, to have base for for my vase so I'll make like this one Okay. Now, if you click dimension, if you, here there is a line here. Let's say there is a line where you want to create hole in the middle. If you create dimension here between this one and this one, the software will type direct dimension, just any numbers like like this one. But it will not recognize that you want to create diameter. As an example, someone asks you to create diameter. They tell you, I want this diameter to be number. If you create from here to here, it will give you not diameter. It will give you only distance or radius. Could be radius. Okay. But you don't want, like, as an example, 350. The 350, the diameter will be 700. But you don't want to create 350, one diameter. What you will do in order to convert this one into this shape, with phi, this is called phi, phi for diameter. Okay, how to transfer? Go here to this line and click on format and change it to center. Now click on dimension and click here and click on the center. What's the value now? Diameter. Let's see, 700 not 350 because the software now now recognize that you want to make revolution so if you click finish and click on revolve automatic it will revolve it for you even because the software understand you explain to the software that i want to use this one center of revolution and i want to create this vase in this shape okay arc length we don't need it dimension type radius or diameter i told you go right click and it will appear uh, dimension entity driven dimension do you remember when i told you if you have dimension and you create another dimension it will tell you this is driven let's say you have this rectangle and you type here dimension here eight you go to other side and type here it the software will tell you you cannot apply it because i understand that this is it because from here to here it from here to here should be it so it will create something called driven dimension okay constraint we learn okay so here you can see practice 3a how to apply constraint in this practice they teach you 
how to create line, how to apply constraint, how to make it. And by the end, you will be able to create something like this. Okay, let's do it together. I will show you how to create constraint. Let's say I have like this shape. I, I will not follow the dimension in this case. I just want to show you how to follow. I have this line. Let's see first project. And I will project uh, this axis and this axis. I have line. I will project also the point. I have line. I have line. I have arc three point one, two, three. I have circle. The arc is not tangent. The circle is not uh, in the center of the arc. These two lines should be symmetric. We'll start with symmetric, let's say. This one and this one around this. Now, if you open the lines like this, if you move them, I will hide constraints. See, they are symmetric. When you move this to the right, this to the left, okay? Now the second uh, thing I need to make, tangent. This arc and this arc, tangent. If you find it like this one, it will not work with you. What you need to do is try to, before you tangent, you do the tangent. Ah, there is constraint here. See, there is constraint. The arc, the circle is stuck with the arc here. So I should go show constraints. Come here. I found coincident, this one. Coincident. I don't want this one. Go here, delete. See, now it's free. Okay. Let's say I want tangent, this one and this one tangent, this one and this one tangent. I make it tangent. I didn't, I would hide the constraint. I didn't divide any values. So this one could be. Any value that you need. I want to put this here. I go to constrain coincident or concentric. Concentric. I put it in the middle. And that if you want to put it in the middle. Oh, like this one. Then if you want to do the same shape, of course, you can edit this one. Do like this. Make it down. Let's make it small. and control it, okay? So also the shape, you can go and try to make sketch and fillet and arc and trim and constrain. It's just easy, basic task. Okay, finish task and you will having this Okay, I will solve with you this one and I'll show you how to do it in order to be familiar with the software. See, I have, let's say I want to start by this line. I will start, see, if you have project geometry, you can create the circle down, start with the circle and add 12, this one. And you have to be aware that this 12 is not the radius. It's not the diameter, it's the radius. So when you add dimension, go right click and say edit radius and add the 12. Okay? Okay. Now I create a line from here to the top. I create a line from here to here. I create a line. I create like this shape. Then I create like this line. How can I make this shape look like this one? 
I go to tangent. I say this line tangent to the circle. This is number one. Number two, what's the value here? This one, five. I go to fill it and create between this one. I type here five and I say between this one and this one. Five. Number three, I go here to trim and remove this one and remove this one and remove this one. Number four, I go to dimension and press on this center. Press on this center and press on this center. I go down and type 50. Then I go to this line and this edge. I press 38. This one, if I click from here to here, I will get dimension in horizontal. But I don't want dimension horizontal, so I click on the line itself like this. And I, I see the arrow. If I go down or, or right or left, I'll get horizontal or vertical. But if I be close and I see this mark and click, I will create line that uh, dimension that align with the line. So 25. From here to here, 21. And from here to here, Six, 65. That's it. Okay. Let's create this one. See, let's like go circle, circle, and go try to make tangent, and go try to make, uh, check the freedom, to check if they are correct or no, and end this task. Let's see here. I will project again. X and Y, and I want to make sure in this exercise that I have uh, no de freedom, degree of freedom, okay? I want my uh, drawing to be constrained. How I will draw this drawing? I will start from this one. I will create a circle. I have to project also the point. Okay. I will create a circle. Diameter 20. Oh, this is radius. I'll create circle. Right click. Enter. Now 20. Okay. If you notice here, you will find four. The distance between here and here. Okay. I go to something called offset. Click on this circle and move four. This will easily enable me to create dimension four. Okay, now look what I will do. I will create this one. What's this value? 80. Okay, I will create line from here. Any value, no problem, here. Just and change this line to construction. Create circuit on this line. And this line has to be 10. The circle has to be 10. What's the dimension between this one and this one? We said 80. Here you have 120, another circle. Okay. I'll go here, create another circle on this one. If you want, you can choose 10, or when you go to dimension, you can type 10. Or if you don't type 10, like you forget, you can all the time come and add dimension and type it 10. All instead of typing, just click on this one. Fx equation. Click. The computer will understand that you want also this one to be 10. Okay. Or also, you can not doing this by dimension. Go to constraint equal. You have different choices. The dimension 120, I'll go here between this one. 120. Okay. Now, I need to create this one, 16. It's a radius because only one arrow, not two arrows. This one, two arrows, like this one. Okay. Go to circle. Go to the center. Right-click, radius, 16. Perfect. Draw a line, horizontal. Another line horizontal, 
make it long, make it long. Choose tangent. Say I want this one to be tangent. This one to be tangent. See, there is a smooth here. This smooth mean tangent. Trim the extra. You can trim this one also. Okay. Go to this area. 30, the circle, the radius. Go here. Draw circle. It's on the, in the radius mode. Click 30. Perfect. Create line. Create another line. Choose tangent. Choose tangent. Remove this one. Remove this one. Remove this one. And remove this one. Okay. Go this one little back here. Oh, what's the value? 60. Okay. Perfect. 60. How can I make this line and this line has the same value? Constraint equal. This one, this one. Okay, perfect. I go back here. I go back here. Move it like this. If I notice here, I can find that this tangent, the relation between this line and this arc is tangent here. But the relation between this arc and this line is not tangent. This is not tangent, but this is tangent. So what I will do, I will go here to arc and click tangent. I will choose this edge or this edge first. I will choose the edge that it's tangent, which is down. So I will go arc, tangent, I click on this one down, and then I go up to this one. Again, I will go arc, tangent, I will choose this one tangent, and I will go to this arc. But they are not equal because I did not type 15. Okay, I'll go to dimension 15 equal. See, I finished the drawing. Everything is in black color, not purple. I check on degree of freedom. I don't have my drawing is constrained. My drawing is fully constrained. All the dimension I need is available. All the constraints, if I show you the constraints. The drawing is full of constraint, vertical, horizontal, project, tangent, concentric, everything I need, I, I have, and I finished the drawing. So this is the exercise. Okay, I will finish this one.